This is an old carrot. With that, I mean that it's uh, been in the ground for one year. If you were to see this at a supermarket, you probably wouldn't choose it as a carrot. We had such a hard winter this year, and we were desperate for, for ingredients. Our farmer, sir, and he simply said, well, I have these ones that's, that's been in the ground for a year now. They were supposed to have been up uh, six months ago, but I just kept them because I didn't have time to harvest them. Our intention was to take this carrot and treat it like uh, a piece of meat. A carrot like this will have to saute an hour and a half to two hours on low to medium heat in order for this to compress together. In the beginning, we just had a, have a little heat to it. Where a carrot and add chamomile to the pan. This will infuse in the butter. Goat's butter, because it's lighter, more acidic, and has a very significant flavor. And then we'll simply saute it and twist and turn it for an hour and a half to two hours. Once in a while, add fresh butter to the pan and more and more chamomile. Okay, the carrot is finished. A lot of these chamomile I'm gonna take with me and make them become a part of the dish. You can see it on the outside. There's a thick layer of, uh, of, uh, of the crust, the sauteing crust. On the inside, it's like a puree. We also have a variety of sorrels. In this case, we're gonna juice the leaves, but I actually believe that the, the stem of any herb is probably the best part of it. The sorrel stems, they take very, very little cooking. In this case, we just take some melted goat butter and we pour over them. That heat is just enough so that the outside is cooked and the inside is still raw. We simply juice the, the actual green leaf. Once it's juiced, it's very intense, has these green tones. It tastes uh, much like the way that a freshly mown lawn smells. We warm it slightly, never boil it, because then you lose the qualities of it. And then we also have a few other types of sorrel that we garnish with. 